Alright, I'm going to show you how to pull some video clips using Sony Vegas Pro, which is on computer one in the CLT lab. First thing you do, go down here to start and computer. And on that computer it's the F drive, but on mine it's the D drive. You're going to create a new folder and just put your name there. And you can save everything to that F drive for the whole semester. Now you can close that and then open Vegas Pro. And you can put your DVD in the DVD player and it's a good idea to get a remote from the front desk. It's easier to find your clips with the remote control. Now go to file and save as. You need to tell it to save to that F drive. Otherwise it's not going to have enough space on the C drive to save your video files. I'm going to call mine test and save and now you go to file and capture video. You're going to capture your video from the DVD player into the computer and say OK to that and let's see here I'm going to hit oh, oh it's a good idea you need to do this the first time you're going to capture video. Let's go to options preferences, disk management, and then you double click right here and you change that to the F drive. And of course on my computer it's the D drive. Otherwise your computer might just crash because these video files are so huge. Say OK to that. And I'm going to hit capture video now before I even start my clip just because I don't want to miss anything. So you find where you want to go, you can move around with like scene selections and that sort of thing. We're going to capture for a while here. Good. Um, when you're done, you hit the stop button right here. And that's fine for now, just to show you how this works. And you can say done to that. And we don't need to save it. Is it's already saved to Sony Vegas. You close that. And it's right here. You drag your video clip down. Now this is your video track and your audio track. You click in here and now this is the little play line. You can drag it around and see where things are in your clip. And say we want to start it uh, right there. So let you, what you do, you can go to the end of the clip and drag it in just like that. And now that's the beginning of your clip. Another way to do that, you can go up here to edit and undo. Undo do is a great thing to have if you make a mistake. But right now, you say your, your play line is here. If you hit the S button, it splits the clip right where this line is. So now you can click there, delete it if you want to. Now you have the beginning of your clip. You can drag this and find the end of where you want your clip. We're going to do it. Uh, let's just do it right there. Why not where he uh, a little bit further maybe. Okay, that's fine. And then we'll drag the end of the clip the same way to there. And What I like to do is have a little fade in and fade out. So you go to the corner here and where it's a little pie. And you have to do it to the video and the audio track and then a fade out. Same thing. If the further you go it's a longer fade. So we'll just do a quick little fade out and then we'll watch it. If you put your play line there you could either hit the play button here or the space bar to start the clip. Now here we go. We fade it in from black. And there's our clip. It should fade to black in just a second. Perfect. Audio faded out also. Okay, so now what it's a good idea to go up here to file and say save as and just to make sure we don't lose anything. And then you go to file. Oh, you go here first. Double click in here. And you get a loop region. This is what's going to be rendered to make your video file. You can add text to this, you can add music, other clips, uh, voiceovers, all sorts of things, but today this is all we need to do. 
So you go to File, you say Render As, and once again it's going to the wrong place. So the first time you do this you need to tell it to go to that F drive folder that you created and we can at this point give it a different name. The project's called Test, but now this clip is going to be called Hobbit 1. And you go, there are a lot of different versions of uh, video files, a lot of different ways you can save it. Uh, we're saving it as a WMV Windows Media Video, which is really good for PowerPoint presentations. And 6 here is good. F it's still high definition, but it's not a huge file and it's not a, a low quality file. So we have render loop region only checked. It's just going to render this blue section and go ahead and say render. And once it's done rendering, you can drag this file into your Y drive and save it there and access that from any computer on campus. Another good thing to do is upload it to your Google Drive and then you can share that with anyone, including your professor, when you finish your project. So when it's done, I always like to open the folder to make sure it looks good. And it's done, so let's open it, and there it is, Hobbit 1. And I just like to check on it, see it faded in from black nicely. Good scary music. And it should fade to black here soon. Look at that. Alright. So that's it, and have fun.